Yes, people, welcome back to another transfer roundup. Again, a bit of a late one. Um, obviously, we're seeing City lose to Celtic in pre season yesterday. No watch song for that as the PC decided to die a death. Um, I'm going to speak to some people who I know. Thankfully, through City Extra, uh, who can fix PCs um, and hopefully get that up and running. But we're going to have a workaround anyway for the next preseason game. Uh, so maybe a little bit of a different setup because last night was an absolute nightmare. But first things first, do us a favour, hit the like button, subscribe channel if you are new, bringing you all the transfer news throughout this window, albeit not that much in City's case. Cheeky is not moving fast. I can I can tell you that for free. Um, but starting off with James McAtee, played last night, did quite well. I thought. Um, I think he's got um, he's had his little bit of game time which is something that he's alluded to. He's been speaking today about that game time and we know that Pep Guardiola wants to keep McAtee with the squad uh, for next season which I think is really exciting for him. Um, he's had his minutes elsewhere and he said today uh, this is the quote that he's came out with he said, uh, McAtee on staying at Manchester City I'm not really fussed about minutes I just want to learn from the best manager the best players and it's not really about the minutes. I've gone out and got my minutes elsewhere with the physicality of the men's game. Obviously I know the demands and quality in the City team if I wasn't to get minutes it's not something I'd be upset with but my aim is to prove myself and get in the team as much as I can, I need to earn that, which I think is a big mentality for James McAtee. Now, we've seen the way that it's happened with Phil Foden. He stuck around the squad and sponged off all these players, all the David Silva, Kevin De Bruyne, things that I learned a lot from him and has ended up basically being a mainstay in the team. Now, it's difficult for young players coming into City because it, the the game time is very much here and there, very few. Um, like Cole Palmer, for example, he decided to, to move on elsewhere and he's doing bits now. Um, I, I know there's pretty much all of us would love to still have Cole Palmer at the football club but James McAtee has, has been out there been on loan had some decent spells elsewhere from City and now he's talking about staying with the squad and he kind of knows that he's not going to be getting regular game time being first team starter but he wants to prove himself, which I think is very, very good. It's nice to see that from James McAtee. And it's showing a bit of fight from him to want to get into this City side. And uh, kind of make his make his claim to be a part of the first team squad. Now, I really like that Pep Guardiola is back in this. He, he really wants McAtee in the side. Um, it's not really transfer news, but it is an extra play that we've got uh, for the squad next season. Really, really excited addition. Uh, I'm hoping that his preseason goes really well and uh, he can kick on. Um, next. Next up, we have Kevin De Bruyne news. Now, we heard the other day that Pep Guardiola told everyone uh, in the press conference that uh, Kevin De Bruyne was going absolutely nowhere. He's going to stay at Manchester City. And um, this is the news today from the Daily Star saying that Kevin De Bruyne will remain at City for one more season at least after discussing. So he did discuss a move to Saudi Arabia with his wife, um, but he's reluctant to uproot his children um, and said it's De Bruyne is now poised to turn his back on a three-year contract which was worth £156 million from Al Itihad. £156 million for three years is an insane amount of money. But the guy doesn't want to uproot his kids from obviously um, in schools and that right now. Uh, so I can kind of get that. Having talked to his wife and stuff probably made more sense to keep him here. And I don't think he's particularly unhappy at City. I don't think that's the case. I just think all these players that are kind of getting on a bit are looking at the uh, Saudi moves just because... The amount of money that you get in a short time is incredible. Look at, for example, the Edison deal. That's an incredible amount of money, but £156 million. Jesus, for three years. It's an insane offer to turn down. So maybe maybe this news will come again next year when... Um, do you know what I mean when it kind of revives because if, if all this will be talks again next summer and uh, you can you best believe it and there could be a similar offer on the table for him so we, this could be the the last year that we we get to see Kevin De Bruyne in Manchester City shirt but good news for City obviously because we get to keep Kev one of the best midfielders in the world and I still think uh, he is of that level I think next season hopefully we can utilize him a lot and he can uh, do a bit more than he did this year obviously he was unfortunate with injuries uh, throughout the last season. Next up on um, a Saudi move, uh, Ke uh, Edison. Massive, massive Edison news because Pep Guardiola has confirmed that he does not know if Edison will stay at City 
Um, and the goal, the goalkeeper has to make a decision. Um, but he said that there's no contact been made from any other club at this moment. He said he has to see the other options. I'd like him to stay, but it depends on the other clubs. I don't know the situation. No contacts in the last days. It's a question of training, being with us until the transfer window finishes, and we will see. So, Pep knows about this Edison thing. We've all heard that um, Edison has been open to a move to Saudi. He's got a £60 million offer on the table for two years. £30 million a season, again, is an insane amount of money. Um, and the news that we got yesterday that Edison would kind of likes the idea of going to Saudi for two years and then moving on elsewhere because two years of his footballing career to make that amount of money he could retire on that amount of money to be honest but then he can move on and then go to a top club again it's a, it's basically a temporary move for Edison to get cash um, and obviously the, the Saudi team would be happy to get such a big name goalkeeper in there it's just unfortunate that he's our number one uh, but we do know the alternative for that is that Ortega will step up to number one we heard yesterday that City will not be pursuing a number one goalkeeper choice like a Donnarumma like a Mike Miner something like that I think we'd be going for more of a backup goalkeeper um, to sit next to Ortega as Ortega would probably primarily be taking that number one spot. Uh, Pep has been speaking about just in general the players and uh, the uncertainty of, of different futures obviously we know that Kevin De Bruyne that's kind of resolved now but Edison Bernardo Silva um, Kyle Walker things like that uh, and he said uh, 